see all this fancy cutting? This is useless. None of this worked. You might remember in a previous video I promised I was going to make a brooch to cut the D-hole in the frame. Well this is it. You're watching me cut the brooch and it totally sucked. I made up for this however with one of those cool, fady, artistic, blurry camera shots as you can see. What you're about to see is my tool going up against a piece of aluminum and losing really bad. Take away the debroach and add water jet. I'm going to make a program on the CNC water jet specifically to cut out that D-shaped hole in the middle of the frame. And while we're at it, I'm going to cut out the cork disc too for the drag because the water jet should do that pretty well. My goal here is to set up the lead in and the lead out for the cutting path to be inside of that hole I drilled earlier. That way I don't have to worry about it blowing out the material when it starts cutting. The lead in and lead out are just small areas the water jet needs to begin and end the cut without messing up the part. They'll be represented here by just little arcs, a bigger arc for the lead in and a smaller arc for the lead out. And hopefully the end of it will end up right over that hole if I did this right. The last thing to do here is to lay in the cutting path and then we'll be ready to go. To mount the reel to the water jet, I hooked it back onto that little face plate I made for the rotary table and just clamped it onto a piece of scrap steel to give me a surface. I turned a small tapered cone to fit over the end of the water jet to help me line up where zero zero home should be directly over the center of the hole. From there I just put the machine in low speed jog mode and carefully lined it up right over that pilot hole. Once I was done with that, I dropped the z-axis into place and we're ready to tell the machine it's home. After that, I loaded the file for the D-hole into the machine, set up a few parameters, and I turned off the wrist, the fifth axis, in order to make sure that it won't run into the flywheel on accident. Now we're ready to cut. Next to go up on the table was the piece of cord. I used a small piece of Delrin plastic as a backing plate so that the water jet just wouldn't let that real thin cork flop around. A couple of clamps will hold it in place.
It was at this point that I thought I lost my peace forever into the bowels of the table. Then I remembered pork floats. After removing the piece from the backing plate, I was anxious to see if that drawbar was going to fit in the hole. Couldn't ask for a closer fit. Next up was the drag disc. This will get glued in place during the final assembly later. But for now, it definitely fits. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you haven't seen any of the others, there's a playlist with all of them in the description for this video. And if you liked what you saw, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks.